While the unemployment rate has been high during a pandemic, a town in central Illinois is looking to fill jobs. Monticello has over 100 jobs available at different businesses. WCI 3's Bryce Beeman joins us live from the newsroom. And Bryce, most places are struggling with unemployment during this pandemic. Small businesses in Monticello were impacted by the pandemic, but there are still lots of job opportunities. I think the fact that we are hiring in our community speaks very well to the strength of our local economy. While most cities in the U.S. are experiencing high unemployment rates, it's the opposite in Monticello. Shelley Crawford Stock with the Monticello Chamber of Commerce says, of course, businesses have felt the impact from the pandemic, but they have adapted for the better. They obviously have found new ways to adjust and grow and thrive, and that's what's shown by the need for all these positions. To make it easier for people, the city of Monticello created a job board for businesses to post employment opportunities. It has been very helpful because we have so many jobs available in the community. Over 120 jobs are available at more than 60 businesses, which is a lot of job openings for a smaller community. Our business community is really only a little over 200. So that's a pretty good chunk of our businesses that are actively hiring. And the jobs vary among retail, healthcare, maintenance, teaching, and many more. We want to make sure that we, we provide a, a source for their, them to come together. But with the unemployment rate so low in Monticello, the city wants to get the word out to people searching for a job. It's kind of a challenge because we don't have people really in our community that need to work. So trying to find that special mix of the businesses and the, the people that need the jobs is has been fun. The job board has a long list of jobs with easy ways to apply. We will have that link on our website. In the newsroom, I'm Bryce Beamant, WCIA3, your local news leader. Good to hear some good news. Bryce, thanks.